In this video, I want to show you how to solve a trigonometric equation using uh, one or two of the double angle formulae. So here is the equation. 2 sine 2x plus cos 2x is equal to 1. And I want to solve this between 0 and 360 degrees. So sine 2x okay, is a double angle. And there's only one thing I can possibly replace it with. This 2 sine x cos x. So I've got two lots of 2 sine x cos x. Plus, now we've got this cos 2x. Now I've got three options here. Okay. Now, which one to choose? Which one to choose? Well, um, as I said in the previous video, the cos squared minus sine squared doesn't really get used that much. It's really these two here, the 2 cos squared minus 1 and the 1 minus 2 sine squared. Now, which of these to choose, ultimately, it is up to you. And I'm going to choose this 1 minus 2 sine squared. Um, not for any particular reason. If you want to try the 2 cos squared minus 1 and see if you get the same answers, that might be a good idea. So cos 2x, I'm going to replace with 1 minus 2 sine squared. Now remember, ultimately, if, if it doesn't work, if something doesn't work at some stage, then maybe you might want to try replacing the cos squared minus sine squared with one of the others, okay, or, or vice versa. Okay, to see if you can make it work especially when you're sol uh, proving trig identities. Or you might want to replace the sine squared just, just with 1 minus cos squared, or, or something like that, okay, and get it back to that formula. So don't be afraid about rejigging things. So let's uh, simplify this. We have 4 sine x cos x. We've got 1 here and a 1 there. So we can take 1 from both sides, so they can cancel each other out. And so I'm going to be left with minus 2 sine squared is equal to 0. Now, let's factorise this. So we have 2 lots of sine x, because sine x is common to both, times 2 lots of cos x, take away sine x. So, either the sine x is 0, because clearly the 2 can't be. I could divide both sides by 2, if I like. Okay, and that just gets rid of the 2. Sine x is 0. Or 2 cos x minus sine x is 0. Now, if this is 0, you can add sine x to both sides and then divide both sides by cos x. And sine x over cos x is tan x. So we're actually solving these two equations between 0 and 360. So a quick sketch of sine. And because we're inclusive of 0 and 360, sine of 0 is 0, so x is 0, 180, or 360. So there are three solutions to sine x is 0 between 0 and 360. So now let's solve tan x is 2. So a quick sketch of tan. Okay, between 0 and 360. 2 crosses the curve there and there. So I need to do inverse tan of 2. So we get our calculator. We make sure that we're in degrees. Inverse tan of 2 is 63.4 degrees to one decimal place. And then you can add 180 to get your second solution. So 243.4. And so we're getting two solutions from this equation. So 
So actually there are five solutions, one, two, three, four, five, five solutions all together. And this is how we can go from a complicated looking trig equation, use the trig identities to simplify it down and factorize, and then solve two straightforward trig equations.